YouTube. Que pasa? Welcome back to another Bleach Brave Souls video on my channel. Today I would like to go with you guys over something that I think is on the minds of a lot of BBS players, especially newer players. And the, the thing is exactly how do you deal with enemies that can use dodge? And I'm specifically really talking about these quests. When you head over to events, and then to difficult quests. Right, and there you have these these quests up here. These um, training ground attribute scrolls. A lot of these enemies right there do have dodge. So they can actually, like, like when you're running with any character that, that just, just trying to play through those stages, um, they keep on dodging. And to be fair, that's, that's like the most annoying thing. Uh, any enemy can do in this game like dodge that's just that's just not making it harder that's just annoying like i don't know what they were thinking but yeah that's another topic anyways um that is probably why a lot of people um for instance even in the beginning don't play these quests or even can't play these quests because they're lacking the right characters or some and there are a few ways of tackling these kind of enemies now let me show you exactly what i mean right i'm selecting the small hard scrolls because that's those i need at the moment and there you see enemy rules many enemies that can dodge obviously the base requirement is only characters with more than 15 link slot levels so make sure you have at least a character that has 15 link slot levels um um, um uh, leveled up so that way you can actually take part with that character in this quest and Basically it has also a clearing time which adds to the difficulty and Here's the thing you got to be choosing a character that ideally Sees through the dodges now you got to check first of all what, what kind of enemies are there soul reaper enemies now we go back and choose a character um, you go over here to filtering, then soul trade, I believe it was, read dodge. There is a skill. Now uh, let's search for it. One second. Right, I've just found it. So it's under innate skills, and it is called read affiliation dodges. And that's basically the skill you want to be filtering for, because that is the skill that is perfect for finding the character that actually is able to read. Now, a lot of these don't meet the uh, requirements um, either because they are wrong attribute or some of these aren't level up, but I'm not using them. Um, to be fair, I clear these quests even without um, using a character that has read affiliation dodges or anything. And it's possible if it's a strong enough character, for instance. However, in this case, um, you see the characters that have been found is, for example, this Byakuya for Guild Quest Byakuya or this Don Kanoji. And those are the characters you can be using to comfortably clear these kind of stages. Like, I mean, they don't have the troubles uh, trying to hit them over and over again without missing. In this instance, we're not using that because I'm going to show you how to clear with a character that, for instance, doesn't have read affiliation dodges. So we're using our seventh anniversary Ichigo. Let's equip him quickly with the right, right things. Um, let's give him this. Then we're giving him the fortification pill. Do I have to? Do? Nope, I didn't. Let's just give him the hunting cap too. So that's basically it. Then let's choose his link slot units. Character links. Um, going over to mind. That is already equipped. Let's give him that. Yes. And nope, let's not go for Biakuya. Let's go for a strong attack recharge link. Yeah, I do need to level up that St. Kaiman uh, chat still for mind. I haven't done that yet. And that's basically my setup done for Ichigo. And with this character, there really shouldn't be any issues beating this. I'm going to run it times 10 myself because I want only small scrolls this week. And I'm taking away the allies. Let's jump into this. Right, now with the read dodge uh, skill, it would have been very easy to avoid something like this. You see how he actually... Um, missed uh, that one unit. That was actually the reason why I'm saying use like something like dodge, 
uh, read dodge. However, if you don't have him, try use a character, and that's like a trick. Try use a character that has a vortex. For example, for the stages where there's a heart unit to be used, use six anniversary eyes, and because of his vortex, he'll more likely be able to hit them because you see how the first hits are missing there, but the, the later hits that are being produced through the vortex are still hitting. And you see this, the first strong attack hit only on the last hit, one enemy only, and the second one just survived. And that's basically the, the thing that's really annoying. And sometimes if you use a character that's dealing way too less damage, you, you run into the problem that um, you won't be able to beat the stage in time um, in order to get the bonus or in order to complete it. And that's the problem a lot of people are having with these stages, especially in the beginning um, when starting with this game. So my take on this, definitely use a character, first of all, that's strong enough like 6th Anniversary Eyes and 7th Anniversary Ichigo, uh, Spirits Are Forever, Kisuke, um, Rocker, the new, the new Technique Rocker that you can get. And those are all 5th all Anniversary Byakuya. He's also great for these stages because he also has a Humming Vortex. And that's basically a, a strong attack that you want to be actually using because, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's basically uh, the easiest way uh, clearing those stages without actually using a character that has read dodge. Now, you see how still people, uh, still, uh, still a lot of attacks are missing because I have the vortex. I'm hitting, and you do occasionally get a hit with with seventh anniversary Ichigo. It's it's actually even more easier because he does have the debilitator um, and the uh, emo emulator. I think it's called every five seconds. So that's actually great. And the last room is pretty much uh, the easiest thing because the main boss doesn't dodge. So you can actually just clear it with your soul bomb and get over and done with it. And that's basically how you want to be able to clear these um, these stages. I mean, that's basically all there is to it. And if you don't have any read affiliation dodge units, then definitely use this method and use a homing vortex character. So the characters you want to be using ideally are let me just let me just quickly show you these. Right, the characters you want to be ideally using is seventh anniversary Ichigo or the chair Eisen. He is also great for this because he has read all affiliation dodges. So that is basically he's basically perfect for the stages where you can use a technique unit. Then Yamamoto, he is also great because he has a humming vortex. But then you want to be using, uh, you could also be using something like Yiwach because he has the second strong attack of his is a boost ability and he has like the continuous attack around him. So Yiwach or Tsukishima from PvP, those are two characters you can use as well. Then obviously 7th anniversary Ichigo, um, you could also use Mami Retsu would also do good. Um, it might be a bit taking longer with her. Um, art book Ichigo is all right. Jushiro is all right. Seven, uh, six anniversary Aizen definitely a character you want to be using for those stages because he also has a crawling vortex as a second a strong attack, which is awesome. Th that is definitely another character. And yeah, this Renji is also great because he does also have a crowd controlling attack on his second strong attack, which is also very good. Fifth anniversary of Yakuya. Obviously, um, there is no more needs, uh, need, no more words needed for this character. He's a great unit, even by nowadays standards, two years old, still dominating. And he also has a um, humming vortex um, that is a strong attack too, which are the swords flying around. So he basically just hits all enemies over and over. So that is basically great for using in those stages. And that's basically, like, those are basically the characters you want to be using ideally. Um, I don't have Rocker. If you have the new Rocker, um, I think the banner is still up. Let's just check it quickly. Yeah, so the banner is still up, I think, um, or up until the 18th. So that is basically, is, is it the, that's the single, uh, the single character banner, right? It's a single character banner for Rocker. She's actually great because she also has the, uh, the, the humming vortex, uh, crawling vortex that's uh, going forward, um, basically hitting enemies over and over. So if you hit, if you, if you miss the first few hits, then definitely the later hits will, um, 
get the targets and that's basically how you clear those stages i hope this video was helpful to you i know these stages can be somewhat annoying but definitely do them if you can because those materials will come in handy later on in your game um when trying to transcend your characters and make them even stronger and those materials are actually um kind of harder to get than anything else in the game so yeah don't forget to smash the like button thanks for joining again and i'll see you guys next time